Hey, what's up people? And welcome back to another part of my collection tour. This is the part that uh, I've been very excited to get to. Uh, I didn't want to tack it on at the end of anything. But uh, we are going through my master sets that I'm working on. None of them are done. Some of them are getting, some of them are getting very close to being done. Um, but we'll get started. That's why I've got my camera kind of at a weird angle here. So you can see I've got these stickers on this book. This is base set two, um, fossil and jungle. So we're going to pop right into this. Let's see, first page, open, open, open. We have my base set two, Alakazam. Try to keep the light off of there. A beautiful base set two, Blastoise. I love the holographic on these. Chansey, you can see a nice swirl down there in the corner. That Blastoise is very, very nice, and I'm I'm glad mine looks that good. Clefable, which I just recently um, got for base set two. Gyarados, Hitmonchan, and Magneton. Magneton was from Chris's collection, and uh, I don't remember where I got Hitmonchan, to be honest. Next page. We've got base set two Mewtwo, um, Nidoking, and Nido Queen with the... She's got the boyfriend's move. I think it's funny. They're really nice. And she has a funny little mark. Uh, the only part bad about her right, right there. The, it's like finger rub, which is weird because the whole card is good. Uh, but that one little spot. Base set to Ninetales. Um, base set to Pidgeot. Poliwrath. Um, Scyther. And we've got Wigglytuff up here. Very nice hollow on there. And then we get on to the rares. There's Dragonair, Dugtrio, and they're in number order, um, but I'm working hard. I'm getting very close. It might not seem like it in some parts of this, but getting closer than I was a long time ago. <laughs> so this page is almost full. And most of the non holo cards are mine uh, from when I was a kid. Not too many of them. Actually, all of the non holo cards in ba my base set 2 set were either mine from my childhood collection or uh, from the collection that Chris gave me. Um, but we'll just kind of pan through these so you can see them all. You can see what I'm missing and maybe someone out there has a collection that can lead me in the right direction to finish this. There's a, base set two is the biggest of these three sets that are in here. Um, I can't wait to one day have this binder complete and you know, just pull it out and look at it, I guess. Oop, got my finger in the way there. That's what I'll do with it. But this, these binders are really nice too. Now we're into all the trainers. Lass, if you know my beef with the lasses in Fire Red, that card might as well be trash. Sorry about the light reflection on there. Yeah, there's all those. And the last page here. I saw the same card there for a second. Oh, Scoop Up and uh, Gust of Wind are just treating poor Weedle with like little trash he is, you know? Look at that. And then this one randomly has the energies, which how do I not have all the energies from base set two? All right, the next is Fossil Set. Whoops. So there's an Aerodactyl that was from Chris's collection. This really nice Articuno. Um, was mine. I bought it in South Carolina about seven years ago. Gengar and Haunter. Man, the Haunter is, excuse the big hair there. That Haunter is beautiful. I really like the Haunter. And there's Gengar. Hypno, Kabutops. I just got this Lapras and Magneton actually last week. Uh, and I, this Magneton, I don't see this hollow very often. But it's really cool. Unfortunately, he has a little speck on him, but it is what it is. We'll trace. Um, and then we'll get into the... Th there's not as many hollows. Um, there's Ditto. See, I'm, I'm missing quite a bit of comments from this one. But there's a the rare Dragonite uh, Hitmonlee. I did get a hollow Hitmonlee today, but I didn't put it in here yet, unfortunately. It's in the other room. We'll trace. Golbat. Ghastly. Here we go. These are fuller over here. Graveler, Kingler, Omastar, Sandslash. A lot of good looking cards. Oh, and here we go. This Ekans is first edition. How about that? There's a couple random first editions in here. Uh, I did buy those. I didn't have any of these first edition originally. Um, 
and there's not too many trainers but I think I have them all from fossil set I might be missing one but here is jungle set and I am one stupid card away you, they're not all in here yet but I literally only need a wiggly tough and I thought I already had it but I guess I was thinking of my base set two one but there's clefable electrode very nice flareon this one has the evolutions jolteon beautiful card Kangaskhan, let's look at that Jolteon again. That's one of my favorite cards that I have. Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime looked funny at me there for a second. Pidgeot, Pinsir, and this is where stupid Wigglytuff will go. And on to the next page, we have Scyther, Snorlax, and here's a beauty. My first edition, hey, Vaporeon. Which, uh, it's got a couple little spots on it, but look, it's, I don't know, to me it's about like the history of these cards, and I'm just happy to have them in whatever condition they are, and this Vaporeon, uh, someone pulled it as a first edition, and they used it, but it looks really good uh, for what it is. Venomoth, Victory Bell, Vile Plume, and there's, we're down to the hollows. I need these two, which are Nido Queen and... Oh, wait, that's it. This is a non-hollow. So I just need the Nido Queen. If I'm wrong, please yell at me. But I don't think I am. And there's the non-hollow version. So all the hollow versions, uh, but the Scyther was mine from my childhood collection as well. Uh, a lot of the rares are just non-hollow versions of the hollows. And my Vaporeon is also a first edition. Another one that I'm very happy to have. Then we've got Gloomy Gloom, Lickitung, Need Arena, Parasect, EV, Execute. I think I had another, there's another first edition lurking around here somewhere. There it is. I have a first edition Meowth. Not too bad. Oddish. Oh, first edition Paras as well. So, my jungle set's looking good, but I'm very close. Once I get the hollows done, and that's the end of jungle set, it's a pretty small set, and there's only one trainer in it. But that is my, we'll close this up after I make sure the camera doesn't fall on us. That's my vintage master sets. Uh, and I'm very, I've made a lot of progress over the past year in that one. But then I also, I don't have a sticker for this yet. I just decided to put this together because I realized I had a lot of them. And it's the only master set that I'm working on that's not um, vintage. And it's my XY Evolutions master set. Of course, it mimics the vintage, but we'll just go through that. I'm getting close. Uh, I just need a lot of the more secret cars. There's a, I love the break cards. Again, they don't get enough love, but they're very cool to me. Uh, no Charizards. Blastoise. Seal, what are you doing? There's another nice break. Uh, those beauties that Gyarados is hollow. All these. I'm missing a lot of the hollows, but this one should be pretty easy to complete as nothing's too crazy anymore. I'm gonna say, y'all saw me pull a Mewtwo EX. This was not the one that I pulled, but I sold my other one to my friend that wanted it. Machamp, oh my gosh. I just chugged a pop before this. Hitmonchan Hollow. Let's get to the juicy stuff in here. My better ones in the back. A lot of trainers. More trainers. Mm, energies. They're numbered as well. Yeah, there we go. There's this really nice Blastoise with the texture. And then I've got the Dragonite EX with the texture as well. Uh, the Secret Rare Flying Pikachu and the Secret Rare Here Comes Team Rocket. And then these are just, these aren't numbered in correct order, but these are just um, reverse hollows that are rare. So I have Raichu, Magneton, Zapdos, Nidoking, and Machamp. All right. So that, that's that with my master sets. Let's set this back down, get this locked up. But I was really excited to show off my uh, old cards. And of course, I was so, so close to finishing the Team Rocket master set. And uh, I, I just had to sell it because it was the responsible choice to make with what I could get for it. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, we're going to get into some more of my stuff. The last part of my collection tour, I guess this, this I think this is part four. Sue me if I'm wrong. But part five will be uh, 
my Pokemon stuff that's not cards. So just some of the figures I have and just some uh, other kind of random older things that I have sitting around. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I post videos every Monday and Friday. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Thank you again. Bye-bye.